It's another Tech Talks presented by EGP Document Solutions. I'm Andy DeMetra. We are thrilled to be joined today by freshman point guard for your Georgia Tech men's basketball team, Nathan George. Nathan, good to check in with you again. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing well. You made a lot of Georgia Tech fans feel good as well on Tuesday. Nothing to it, just 20 points on the road at Clemson, including some clutch threes there, late in regulation, and in the overtimes, and this on the heels of 17 points at Cameron Indoor versus Duke. All for somebody who should still technically be a high school senior. Have you wrapped your head around this run that that you've been been on lately for the Yellow Jackets? Yeah, it's just it's just really been surreal. Really, like the fact that I could have still been in high school and that I'm doing this now against like teams that I never would have thought I'd be playing against. So it's really just all surreal. People, I think, want to know your story more because, like you said, when you committed to Georgia Tech in early August, you opted to reclassify and enroll early rather than play your high school senior season in Glendale, Arizona. That must have been a, a really frenetic time for you. But what sort of prompted that decision to come here and, and start your college career early? Uh, just the support I had for my people. All my family is telling me, like, take that opportunity now. I feel like it's a good time to go in the first year and kind of build your name. So it's just the people I had around me telling me I could do it. And so I listened to them. And you also have had a lot of great people around you here at Georgia Tech. Not only your head coach, Damon Stoudemire, but your fellow point guard, Kyle Sturdivant. And what a game he had as well versus Clemson with 18 points. Kyle said afterwards, it feels like I, I birthed my son <laughs> in Nathan George. But what, what, what have you learned the most from Kyle in your season together that's helped grow your skills as a point guard? Just being a vocal leader. And being composed and having poise and playing with poise. Because Kyle, he never rushed. He always controls the pace. And he's calm and patient. And he's always, like, down the stretch, he's calm. He hits the free throws. He has big shots. So just playing with that patience, poise, and controlling the game, being a vocal leader, because he really excels at that. Boy, we know Cal can make those free throws. He helped ice the game on Tuesday. These last two games, Duke and Clemson, both tough road environments and went down the stretch toe-to-toe with both of those teams. What do you think those two games sort of illustrated about this Georgia Tech team and and what it could mean for this next stretch of the schedule? That we could really compete and we could come out here and battle with anybody. It just all depends on how we handle the glass, like the rebounding battle and our shot-making ability. But now, like, Everyone's clicking and everyone's getting the ball and the ball's moving a lot more than it was before and we're coming and we can really compete. And I just want everybody to know that. I, I know there are still better days ahead, but you're climbing up the scouting report of opposing teams. Final question, Nate, you know about the legacy of point guards here at Georgia Tech from Jose Alvarado to Kenny Anderson to Stephon Marbury and the list goes on. What does it mean now to kind of be entrusted with, with carrying on that legacy of Georgia Tech being point guard institute? It's really a blessing, really. And to have some of those guys still talk to me, like Jarrett Jack was a legend. Like, he's really good. So he, he had uh, come giving me some some tips and lessons on what I could learn and what uh, could help me for my further game. So just being able to, like, soak that all up and know who's been here before me, who's played at that high level and they did it really well. So that really, it feels really great. Well, you've opened a lot of eyes here and elsewhere. And your next opportunity to catch Nathan George and the Yellow Jackets is Saturday at McCamus Pavilion, 6 o'clock the tip time versus Virginia. Can't wait to see you out there, Yellow Jacket fans. And Nate, can't wait to see you on Kremens Court as well. Thanks for joining us here on Tech Talks presented by EGP Document Solutions.